What is good Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla stock and some major pieces of news that just came out as many reports are suggesting that Tesla may be opening their German Gigafactory very soon in the month of March and that makes me very excited for Tesla's share price. I'm also going to talk about the overall stock market, what's going on in Ukraine, what Jerome Powell is announcing as these things could definitely affect the market and Tesla going forward. Now before I say anything about Tesla's share price, before I do any technical analysis, I do have to mention some very important things first the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please do not take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me benefits the entire tesla community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the Moomoo link down below and in the description if you do sign up for Moomoo and deposit hundred dollars you're going to qualify for up to five free stocks each worth up to three thousand five hundred dollars once again that's free money and if you want your chance to get this free money check out the link down below check out the offer and you will have your chance with that's out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at tesla we were up over 7.48 percent for the day let's go guys and tesla's share price did rally because of this piece of news that just came out many reports are suggesting that tesla will be opening their german gigafactory in the month of march once again huge 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 news now here's the thing about this news guys i don't truly know how accurate this really is i don't see this confirmed by tesla yet however there is one thing i know that is confirmed and that is the thing i've been talking about for so long and that is the fact that we're we're very very close now whether it takes a couple of weeks or maybe you know a month from now but however close it is it probably is going to open in march and that's still super bullish news guys super bullish news because the reports are suggesting that tesla aims to produce at least half a million cars annually at its gigafactory berlin alone once again that's massive massive news over twelve thousand jobs are going to be created there now the reason why this is so huge is because of the fact that if this does come out Remember, it's going to improve their earnings, their revenue, all that good stuff that big institutional investors look at. And it's going to be absolutely massive. Now, other reports are suggesting, and this is the reason why I think the date is a little bit confusing. Many reports are also suggesting that it's going to open this Friday. So if it does come that soon, that's going to be even better for us. Whatever the real date is, whether it's a few days away or a few weeks, guys, I just know one thing, and that is we're very close, and I'm still very excited for the future of Tesla. So remember, guys, in the month of March, we're most likely going to see the Berlin Gigafactory open. We're also going to have the opening of the Texas factory, the Texas Gigafactory, in April 7th of 2022, as stated by Elon Musk himself. So once again, March to April are going to be massive months for this company. They're going to have two new factories opening. And it's just going to be amazing for the share price going forward. Now, here's the thing about Tesla's share price. I told you guys we had some resistance at 870. We ended, we ended up closing exactly at 870. However, guys, my prediction was not perfect from my previous video. I thought Tesla would close around the $830 range because I did see us seeing some slight moves to the upside because the market's in a very capricious state. However, if if it truly is true, if Tesla does end up opening their Gigafactory in March, which they most likely will, this thing is going to rally. We'll easily make it back to the 900s, in my opinion. And that's just super, super bullish news. But here's the thing about Tesla, guys. The market is not in a perfect state right now. There's still a lot of uncertainty. And if you look at the fear and greed index, I think that this is not adjusted yet for today. I think the market's a little bit closer to uh, the greedy side. Maybe we're a little bit more fearful. But like I said, the problem is there still is some uncertainty because this is going to be a very important month because when it comes to Tesla, Tesla's news aren't all there is to the things that affect its share price. It also depends on the market situation. So with the whole Ukrainian situation, guys, I think this thing could escalate a little bit more. It's not in a perfect state. But as of right now, the market has not necessarily crashed because of it, just like what I told you. And the reason for that is because of the fact that the market did drop because of the uncertainty. But now we have a lot more certainty about how this is going to affect things. We're also going to see how should I say margin calls really, really coming. And these big institutions that are on margin are going to be affected heavily. So in turn, it could actually help some stocks that are, you know, heavily shorted, such as Tesla. Now, we also have Jerome Powell testifying in front of Congress very soon i think it's going to happen on wednesday and thursday uh that's what it says right here and that's going to be very important because very soon he's going to announce to what degree we're going to see 
rates rise, the interest rates going up. Now, this is my theory. I think because of the whole Ukraine situation, the market is very capricious. Like I said, there's so much uncertainty. So I believe Powell is only going to raise rates by 0.25%, which is a 25 basis point hike. If he does do that, guys, the market's probably going to rally. We're not going to see him being as hawkish. And that's a good sign, guys, because at the end of the day, the market's not in a perfect state. He does have to make some, you know, economic changes to really improve our economy and the jobs and everything like that, you know, to address inflation. But him doing this is not going to cause the crash is the bottom line, in my opinion. We also have jobs reports, you know, Tesla's going to have their February deliveries data and all the, those good things are coming out very soon. So March is going to be a very important month for Tesla going forward. Now, what does this mean for Tesla in terms of the share price? This is where things get very interesting. Let's look at the one day chart we started off at 814 dollars we went all the way up to 876 then we dropped and we started testing the level of uh resistance at 870 and that is exactly where we closed so what i anticipate for the next upcoming days is i see high volatility for the entire stock market the spy was barely uh, a little bit in the red, down 0.26%. So Tesla did not run with the SPY, or I, I think the NASDAQ was very similar too. So Tesla was looking pretty good. I'm sorry, the NASDAQ was actually in the green, up 0.41%. So maybe Tesla played a role in helping this thing run up. But like I said, guys, the market's very uncertain. However, I do see some bullish catalysts coming out, such as Powell not being as hawkish, and also, I do see Tesla really crushing it going forward. So we did see a lot of volatility, but we are looking still a little bit more bullish than bearish. And I do see this thing making some good moves in the short term. So here's how I see this thing moving. Let me bring this up right here. As you guys can see, we found our bottom, in my opinion, at 700. After we touched 700, we saw a spring-like reversal. We got a buy signal over the long term. I think you could use the super trend for this. The super trend is showing a buy signal, and we are trading above every single one of the exponential moving averages. That's a very bullish indicator for Tesla. We are starting to see this curl up right here. You guys see this curl? That's a good sign that we're seeing a trend reversal, and we are actually being hit by the resistance at around 870. So we're doing pretty darn well right now guys that's a very good sign let's see what other indicators are showing too before i talk about where i see the share price going so if i zoom out you guys can see this the rsi is starting to pick up and we're showing more strength than before it's at 59.88 the macd flipped with the nine day moving average meaning tomorrow we should continue with the bullish cycle and we did see a flip from the dmis kind of like right here so that's an indicator that we may not be just you know green 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 entirely we may see some more volatility so overall it's looking more bullish than bearish with high volatility that's the way i see it so i would not be surprised if tesla truly is going to open their gigafactory in berlin in the month of march or even if it's this friday which some reports are saying like i said it's not a hundred percent confirmed that the date is not a hundred percent confirmed i just know it's very close like i told you guys it may take a few weeks it could take like a month from now it's still very soon that's very very bullish news so either way guys regardless of how close it is I see this thing running and I believe that there's going to be a lot more hype continuing and we could see this thing easily go back to the $900 range uh, maybe in the next upcoming days maybe a week or two from now if we continue running like this now remember guys this is a market with uncertainty so we are going to see fluctuations here and there there are going to be some days we're a little bit red other days we're green but overall, it does seem like we're starting this upward trend and it should continue. So for tomorrow, what do I anticipate is going to happen? I think we're going to run up to 876. We're going to find resistance right there. We're going to dip a little bit, then run all the way up to around $890 a share. We're going to get rejected from right there, perhaps drop a little bit and close around the $885 range and maybe closer to 890 but the, the problem is, to what degree is FOMO and institutional buying really going to push this thing? If it really does keep pushing this thing, we could go as high as 900. It is very possible for us to touch 900. So I don't necessarily think it's going to happen that quickly. I think it'll take a couple of days. But for tomorrow in particular, I think we're going to most likely continue on the upward trend. 
That's just the fact that there is a lot of hype right now. And I'm predicting this because of this news right here. I mean, another Gigafactory is very huge. I think the news is still spreading about this. So it's going to be very massive for Tesla going into the future. Now, for the short term, like I told you guys, tomorrow, I think it's going to be a green day. But for the next upcoming weeks, we could see high volatility. We could bounce back and forth between support and resistance. We could see some red because it really depends on what the Fed announces and what's going on with the U.S. jobs report. If the U.S. has a poor jobs report for February, it could cause us to drop a little bit. So I'm just warning you guys that there's so many things that can move the market. We're also going to see Powell testify. Now, he typically doesn't say things that crash the market or like cause it to drop super, super hard. Typically, he doesn't do that. He tends to be a little bit more on the dovish side. So it's unlikely anything too bad will come from that. So like I said, most things are pointing towards Tesla seeing more green than red for the next upcoming weeks. But I do see high volatility until we get a confirmation of rate hikes and the amounts. And also another confirmation for the Gigafactory opening because here's the thing if it does end up opening on friday this is going to be even more bullish i would be even more bullish because of that for the short term i just don't truly know it quite yet i really want to get the confirmation first but anyways regardless of all that noise i'm more bullish than bearish i see us running tomorrow and i'm very very excited so that's what i have for this one guys i thank each and every one of you for listening and remember there are going to be some times where we can unexpectedly be a little bit red there could be some days where we fluctuate but remember over the long term look at the five-year charts over the long term this thing has been going up and up and up and i see tesla continuing to run into the future i'm still very very bullish and excited for this company and i believe they're earnings their revenue their earnings per share everything is going to get better going into the future and i'm still very very bullish going forward that's what i have for this one i want to thank each and every one of you for listening and i will see you guys on the next one tesla to the moon and peace out